guys, welcome back. All right, so this week has been, actually in fact, not much has happened this week on site, to be honest with you. Um, I think the most major thing that we had was we had the guys come and um, cast the beams upstairs. Um, there were a few other things that were supposed to happen, but this week basically nothing on site because people haven't turned up when they're supposed to turn up or there have been delays and different, different things anyway, basically. So we've just been doing nothing much on the side. <laughs> nothing much has happened. But a lot of organising behind the scenes, if I'm being honest. A lot of organising behind the scenes. So um, we're trying to organise for the carpenters to come back now and take down the um, the the wood from the, the beams or the lintels. I never, I don't know why I can never get it right. The beams or the lintels, we're waiting for a carpenter to come and take that down. He should take that down. I think he's going to take it down on Monday now. Um, so when he takes that down, then the guys can lay the next few courses of blocks and then we're ready to, we're pretty much ready to slab. So that's going to be very exciting. I'm really praying that that's going to happen this week because it just needs to get done so we can start moving. Um, so I'm going to do a bit of a clean up in some of the rooms um, and so that I can just bring all my clothes up here because trust me, I've got I've got a lot of clothes. Just don't tell Kwame. I've got a lot of clothes. So I'm going to actually just get rid of tons of stuff and tons of like the children's stuff as well. That's what I'm gonna concentrate on this week so that we can make steps towards moving in here. Cause as I said, by the end of the month, we're in here, but I want to be kind of like slowly starting to do things to get the process moving a bit. And I think a cleanup definitely needs to be done, especially a really good mop. So I'll be doing that. Um, yeah, so um, let's just see how the week went down anyway. Um, obviously they used to have they need to have a certain grade of concrete um, so what we tend to do here is um, six more barrels of sand ratio into um, four bags of cement I just like to put uh, four bags I like to make it very rich personally myself the reason why I do that is you know um, anyway standards I mean I believe in standards um, and the stones you obviously need 12 trips all depends honestly on your wheelbarrows and what you are using there. Huh? Yeah, just... It's disturbing me. Whoa. Hi guys, welcome back. Oh, tired. The sun has a beat in me and then climbing on top of the stairs as well. Hey. My bruh. Okay, so the guys are here today and they are casting. Today's Monday. No, it's not Monday. Today's Tuesday. Hey, I'm even using my days. Today's Tuesday and the guys are here casting. Yesterday we had a couple of guys come and they were helping to load some more of the um, different elements. Stones, chippings. Stones and chippings are the same thing. Sands, chippings. Give me a second. Yeah. yeah. They brought the sands, the chippings and some of the cement upstairs so today that they could um, just kind of make fast basically. So while we've been out, can I to pop out? They've done the casting, I can see already in the areas where they have started to cast the beams going right across. Beams? Is it beams, Kwame? Lintels. Lintels. Oh my gosh, beams, <laughs> lintels. Ah, same thing, man. It's true. <laughs> they casted all they that. the same job. <laughs> <laughs> so, is that, they only need to cast once, right? So, they've done that. So, we just have to wait for that to cure. 
yeah to cure and then they can lay the next course of blocks on top yeah wow that, that's the three or four courses wow so how many days will this take to cure um well you could do it overnight really really yeah it's not it's not much because what, what we're gonna do is um you cast about a day or two but what we we'll do is can you see um all the all the stilts or the legs the prop ups these yeah you just won't take them off oh okay so you remove the sides yeah but you won't take off the props okay so, so it still has can its support. you lay on it or it's better to wait a bit for it to come? well primarily if you're doing within construction you should, should wait. wait yeah you should wait really technically about um eight days okay. eight or nine days to let it cure do you have to water this one? Because I know when you do a slab, you have to water it, right? You have to water uh, just, yeah, no, you know, sometimes people just, you just do it by, um... Hmm? By what? I'm waiting for you in here. <laughs> so, I, so, you know what? I saw you, I saw you ears flicking. <laughs> you are doing something, so I thought... No, 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 no. Oh, okay. You no, did... I'm literally just... Oh, like, okay. The heat is disturbing me. Oh, the That's heat, what yeah, it is, yeah, 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 yeah. The, um, the good protocol is to cure it. Oh, look, he's pouring it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, okay, he's pouring okay. it here. Oh. Yeah. Ah, because what I was going to say is when you get to the rod, you shake it and bring it up eh? so that everything balances. Off. Yeah. I hope you've done it to the rest of it. Yeah. Okay, good. I hope so. <laughs> yeah, especially the door and window areas. So let the, 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 the rod actually sit up. Exactly. Let it sit up onto the slab. Uh -huh. Onto the slab. Onto the concrete. Yeah. Yeah, you got to do so that. So you when... do that to make sure that there are no air pockets. That's why he's also poking it, right? Yeah, but it's not just air pockets. You know, sometimes remember the thing's actually sitting on block work. Yeah. Um, you've got to raise it up so that it's 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 got concrete all around the perimeter oh, of so the rod. Oh, so it's not just. Yeah. I see. Yeah, you know. Yeah, that's why. Okay, so you don't want basically there to be no none of the cement to have gone underneath it as well. So you want the the yeah, iron rod to be co completely covered. Yeah, like a covered. void. Yeah, you want the iron rod yeah. to be completely covered. Right? Yeah. That's okay. it. Yeah. I get you. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Thank you. No problem. Okay, thank well, you. Thank you. I think that's all I need to do for today. Oh, that's it then? Yeah, that's it, mate. Huh? Done, basically. Work done. Everyone go home. Oh, thank you. Guys, let's wrap up. Hey, hey. <laughs> hey, boys, what I'm Hey, Charlie, I do my whole. I do my whole. Hey, boys, what I'm doing. Look. This is, this is, this is African power. Hey, look, this is, that's African power for you, baby. You see it? That's what they say. They say, boys, what I'm doing. Huh? That's what you're going to say, Della. You say, boys, why bread? Boys, why bread? Uh, Guys, so, um, we have Felix back in the house. So, Felix was the one that did the windows for us. And he's hiding in there. Felix in the I'm house. For. That's Felix in the house, yeah. man. <laughs> Charlie, you're here. Just some <laughs> small embarrassment there. <laughs> yeah. So, what we want is, because um, obviously, loads of you have said that we haven't got a splashback yet. And we've been thinking about it for a very long time. So, that was always coming. It's always been in the pipework. So, what we're thinking about doing is putting a glass splashback here, right across and to the other side because we can't leave it plain because you know how it is you know when we start cooking our stews and stuff splash 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 so we have to have um something here so i think it's going to be like i think it should just be frosted plumbing what do you think okay you know sometimes you can get different patterns and different things yeah you can get it so uh. if you want um, laminated or you can get different patterns okay and you can make it like different colours and stuff like that. Yes. Oh wow. But I don't think we want colours for here because no. it's, the kitchen is already quite, yeah. you know, so you don't yeah. want to do too much. So I think maybe like a frosted glass. Yeah. Did we have a sample of the glass somewhere? So yeah, somewhere. we did. Where is it? Just so that okay. like, now the kitchen's in. Just it, to well, we're similar like this, isn't it? Yeah, this is frosted, yeah. That's frosted. Yeah. Okay. But will it like, if we put it on here, will it like show smears and stuff like that? Do you have to, will I have to do a lot of cleaning? Yes, always. I'll have always to be yeah, doing a lot of cleaning always. with it. Yes. So it's hard work. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but it's the same with, no, maybe the same as towels. It's better than, than this, leaving it like this. Because this, this is yeah, it's uh, paint. paint. And right now we're going to have the glass there. Yeah. The glass is, is like this. It's easily to clean. Oh, it's easy it's to clean. Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying it's going to give you more no, work. No, no, no. no. So is it like, but she wants it intense frost, mm -hmm. plenty frost, because obviously she doesn't want to see the back of the wall. Yeah. Oh, okay. You see, so the frost needs to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to do a lot of cleaning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're going to have to do a lot of cleaning. Yeah, yeah,
What's the other one he said? He said they shatter it, not shatter it. Oh, um, the blast sand blasting. Blast. He said sand blasting, blast. isn't it? Yes. Yeah, which one? Is, what brings out the frost, that this kind of thing more intense? Mm. The cloud, the frost. So, this is how they do it. Yeah. But if you want it to be more um, frosted, yeah, deep. You can, deep, you can, at the back of it, you can um, do some uh, sticker on the back. So that, um, that when that peel up, peel off in time. time. Yeah. After time, it will peel. Yeah, but when you do it at the back, it's, it's, it's for forever. It's permanent. Oh. It'll just be like clear frosted. Clear. Like, okay. okay. Yeah. So it's not clear frosted. I don't want to do anything that's yeah. going to stand out too much because the kitchens are really, really classy, and I feel like. If you put something there, like if you put black or something. She said what? If you put anything too much there, it'll become too much, it will overpower the kitchen will be too overpowering. So you mm. want something kind of subtle, but something that will also do the job. So I think like um, a frosted glass is okay. Okay. For it. So Charlie, it's for you guys to take the measurements. Yes. Yeah. And then But how will you do it like for here? Because you see we've got the, the doors here, how will you stop? Will it, will it interrupt it? Will it disturb it? Yeah. Yeah, let me see. This one is... Can it yeah, you can open it. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. No, it won't disturb. It won't disturb. Oh, okay. Just... And what's the thickness we're getting, bro? I think... Um, if you want eight, eight is... Eight, eight, eight. eight. Is that tempered? Yeah, tempered. Eight. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because we, we're allowed for ten, isn't it? Okay. We're allowed for ten there, so eight will be fine. Yeah. So the thickness will not disturb here, it will go under okay. Because so this is a strip light here. Yeah, so this is this is it will to be at the surface here. To be the same, same yeah, as that. You will flush to the yeah, surface. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is it going here as well? That no. Sure no, I think that one you have to do something, but I don't know. I would like it to be go go here, yeah, because but because you can't stop halfway with a glass, you see. No. So, I don't know so how are we gonna cover this one? Here. Okay, she wants to cover this with actual. And then you have to. Why? Why not use uh, towels? Towels. Yeah. yeah. But will that not look funny if you have glass here and then towels here? I think the glass is the better one because you, what you're saying. But if you put glass, what is the glass going to go all the way up, or the glass is going to stop halfway, or how would the glass go? Well, then it's supposed to take this measurement. This, this is a cupboard here. Yeah, it's supposed to take this measurement. Yeah, to go all the way around, you mean? Mm. Uh, From here, uh, yeah. so it will go here. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't want there to be too look like it just harsh and stops. Mm. Do you see what I mean? But where's it going to end to? When you're doing this, are you going to end there and bring it to, uh, to, to, the to the edge? To yeah, it has to go right to the edge. Yeah, right to the edge. Stop, it will be weird. To what happens to the top? No, you have to leave it. But remember, we're going to put shelves here, remember? And the, the extractor wood is also here as well. I think it's lacking. The rope is lacking. Yeah, is this it? Yeah. It is a leaf. Fifty-five. Yeah. yeah. So this is the this is the frosted glass, right? Yeah, but it'll yeah. be thicker. It would be a bit better than this, though, right? No, I think this. Is, what is this one? Is this six mil? No, this is five. So eight yeah. will be on this. Yes. Okay. Five. Yeah. But so I don't want to be able to see through. So it's. You see, so it has to be more frosted than this. Yeah. You see that? It's mm -hmm. got to be more, more intense than this. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's very six. Six. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Six. Six. Okay. So you, that's what it's gonna be like. That's what it's gonna be like. Yeah. 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 Yes. That, that's what you're going to give us, isn't it? Yes. That's what it's gonna be like. Yeah. Yes. That yeah. is it. Okay. See, it's not yeah. That's what I'm trying to say. Ah, see, if you put the tints on it, that's what I'm trying to say. Bringing something on it yes. may bring it out a bit yes. more dark, oh, a lighter yeah. grey. Yeah, not the black. I can see what you mean now. Okay, yeah. not the black, but yeah, yeah like maybe a, a, a yeah. grey. So it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's like that, but you tint it down. Yeah. Like an off-white. Yeah. Not an off-white, but yeah. I want that socket to sit on the glass. To sit. 
Yeah, it needs to sit on the surface. I don't want it embedded out. Yeah. So she said that you want it to oh, be like, like this. this yeah. 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 So let's go here. Uh -huh. If let's say this one is because look, it's an example. This is what you do there. You see, when I finish this, this is going to just sit right. like that. Yes. You see. Yes. I don't want the glass to surround it all. Yes. I want this to sit on the glass. Sit on the glass. On right. top of it, right. not and around. Is that you said eight mil. Eight mil. So you got a lot of plenty. Eight mil there, yeah, and then when we do. Okay. So um, what Kwame is trying to basically explain is that he doesn't want the switches for here, the sockets to sit embedded in the glass, which I think is a really good idea actually, because you think about it, if the switch is embedded in the glass, um, I was just trying to see if I have one here, no. Um, if the switch is embedded in the glass, I guess technically the glass around could potentially cut you as well if it's embedded inside, so he doesn't want that. So he wants the, the switch to actually sit on the glass, which is here. So he wants the switch basically to sit on it like this so that it kind of like protrudes a little bit, which I think is it actually best for now. I think it'd be a nicer finish. So that's what he's basically trying to explain to Felix to have done. But yeah, I definitely need to think some more about the black splash here behind where the hob is, because um, I don't think glass will work on that side as well. I think glass here is fine, but glass where the hob is, I'm not, I'm not too keen on that, but I definitely need to think of some more ideas. So I'm gonna go and have a think about that. I need to probably move on that quite quickly. Um, and I, I, I did forget to mention in the last video I did as well, that we have got an extractor hood. Um, there's definitely gonna be one. We have a socket on the wall already for it, ready for it. Um, we just need to go pick it up from the shop. So we need to pick up the extractor fan, the oven and the microwave as well, which will be slotted in over there. Um, yeah, so we're waiting on those. Um, anyway, I'm done. So hopefully next week will be a bit more productive. This week kind of feels a bit slow. Um, the kitchen guys still haven't been back, but they did explain to me that there had been a delay, so that's fine. So the end of the next week, they said that everything will be done. So all the snags um, and a few other little things that need to be done, it'll all be completed by next week. So I've said it on camera now, so there you go. <laughs> Anyway guys, if you haven't already subscribed, do me a favour please and hit the subscribe button for me and the notification bell. And don't forget to also just do me a quick two second favour and hit the like button for me. I'd appreciate that very much. Until next time, I am out. Naughty Papa.